kitchen, we've been down there, and this is storage. Need to go to the storage. Alrighty. We're gonna go to the storage, and we have 15 minutes. Um, storage is still this way. Oh, that was there. That was there. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. You're fine. There's a tinderbox! Like, we don't... Or we ruined dramatic. <laughs> ruined. There's nothing to light in here. Okay. Nope. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning. And for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Alrighty, so he's gonna help us apparently. Shackles. Whoa. I had a thought in my head. Oh yes, right, someone was saying to use the lantern. I'm sorry. I should probably be using it more. I'm just scared to, to, to waste all my oil and monsters. Don't trust this place. My fingers cell block four. Don't trust it. I don't like this music either. It's a perfect way of doing ambiance. Oh dang you creators. Why did you have to be so good? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is not good. Oh, okay. Safety room! Good. Good! There's the glass pot. Anything else before we grab it? Because I'm sure there's probably going to be a chase scene. There. Oh! There we go. That was a long winding hallway. And what I've learned about long winding hallways, you shouldn't trust them. You shouldn't trust them whatsoever. So ready. Wait, where's the monster gonna come from anyway? One. Two. Nothing happened. Okay then. Skulk around. Just go. Crouch. I wonder, like, when when you crouch.
locked and is in excellent condition. What if I pick it? Can't use it that way. What about a drill? Nope. Jill? You're sitting on the edge of your seat. You're making me nervous. Okay, so, uh, there are things over there. Okay. Gonna do this. Need be, I'll slam on the space bar and then go straight into a run. Oh, this is this wasn't opened, I don't think. I lock myself in there. Smart. This is probably where it came from. Yeah, this is probably where it came from. Chained up here forever and just kind of decided to go for a walk. Wouldn't want to go walking with it. I don't want to turn on my lantern just in case. Sorry if it's really dark. Turned the elf up at the beginning of the game so that you guys can see it. So you should be able to see just as well as I can, but I'm not sure. Is that storage? This is kitchen. kitchen. No, that's cell area three. So kitchen must be over here, maybe? safe to... no. Kitchen is not that way. Kitchen is this way. Urgh. Okay. Up we come. Long winding hallways. <sighs> okay. We're good. We are good. and the drop in music. I, just, I don't like that at all. Absolutely terrifying. There's the acid and we have the glass pot. So we're good. My... my... Okay, we're still, we're still fine for sanity. Stare at the light a bit. Don't touch... Can I touch the pot? Oh, I can! Can I get it off? Oh yeah! Here we go! I got a cooking pot! getting chilly. I hear the... I hear the... Let's see there. It's a good thing I love you! some really bad fan art from this. <sighs> Mostly of her scaring the crap out of me. And then my virtual self ramming my fist in her face. <sighs> oh! Every time! See even with the monster, what if I had accidentally hit W? Oh, that wouldn't have been good. Is it still there? I don't think it's there anymore. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Take the glass jar. Fill it with a you you the glass jar holds the acid safely. But if you look carefully, there is no lid. So I'm holding a pot of acid <laughs> with 45 tinder boxes and a lantern. <laughs> lantern with tinder boxes. So, who wants to draw 42 with a whole bunch of tinder boxes and a <laughs> bottle of acid? <laughs> oh god. I have five minutes. Maybe we can get to the lock without dying. <laughs> huh? 
or not. <laughs> that would work too. God, I am such a baby. <laughs> like I'm so worked up. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry, guys. Actually, I'm not sorry. You can all suffer through the screaming because I know that you were part of this. You're conspiring against me. <sighs> I don't like when he talks to himself either. That won't budge. And this is this is the lock. Maybe I can melt it through. Yeah. Okay. Let's get up from the floor and let's do shit. Let's do this! We got five minutes and then I have to go to a family dinner! <laughs> Scream! <laughs> Just flailing everywhere. <laughs> Out of the way! Oh, that was a that was car outside. I thought that was a rumble from <laughs> There was a car outside and it rumbled and I was like So So where do I need the acid? That's the question. Was it in here? I am too. Oh Hey! Anybody! Help! Let's flash back in safety of a room. I mean, why? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? I don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. Who should have known better? Look at this. I'm all curled up to myself <laughs> in my chair. Just sitting there like, nope. <laughs> We've got more chains. Oh, that's no fun. Okay. I've been holding my breath for a bit. <laughs> oh, hi! Well, <laughs> at least you're face down. Because we know what would have happened if you weren't. It's with the textures. It's very bony butt. It's very pointy butt. This is very weird. There we go. Sorry, bro. Are you, uh, he, he's over the chair and he's just kind of died. 